Have you ever pondered on the intriguing question, who are the men in the Bible who never tasted death? To answer that, we bring your attention to three notable figures. First among them is Enoch, a man of unwavering faith and righteousness. Born into Seth's lineage, Enoch emerges as a captivating character in the Old Testament. Genesis vividly illustrates that Enoch lived for 365 years, equating a year to each day of our calendar. But then his narrative takes an awe-inspiring twist. Enoch walked with God, then he was no more because God took him away. This phrase seems cryptic, doesn't it? Within a moment, Enoch, who was living his life, vanishes. He is there one instant, and then, astonishingly, he is not. Enoch's disappearance is not accounted for by death in the usual manner. Instead, it is suggested that God transported him directly to heaven, bypassing the conventional process of death. His story thus hints at a possibility that transcends the universally accepted notions of life and death. And it raises the question, can faith and righteousness achieve the extraordinary? Can it rewrite the laws of existence? Enoch's tale, therefore, possesses a certain allure that makes it fascinating to explore. It invites us to delve deeper into the mysteries of existence, as illustrated in the Bible. As we venture further into the narrative, we are constantly reminded of the extraordinary potential of faith and righteousness. This passage leaves us with the tantalizing suggestion that Enoch didn't die in the traditional sense, but was transported directly to heaven. Next, we delve into the extraordinary narrative of Elijah, the prophet who dared to confront the unjust sovereigns who dictated over Israel. We begin to unfold the chapters of Elijah's life, a life unlike any other, teeming with miraculous events and countless instances of divine interference that set him apart the ordinary. As we trace the path of his life, we find it punctuated with divine miracles, each more awe-inspiring than the last, each painting a picture of a man closely intertwined with the divine, chosen for a purpose far beyond mortal comprehension. From his brave confrontation with the prophets of Baal, to his miraculous provision at Kareth Ravine, Elijah's life was a testament to the power of faith and obedience to God. Yet amidst all these miracles, none compared to the manner in which he bid adieu to the mortal world. We turn to the Book of Kings, an ancient chronicle which provides a vivid account of his departure. It narrates how Elijah, unlike his mortal counterparts, was not subjected to the inevitability of death. In an event that defies the laws of our natural world, Elijah was taken up to heaven not through the gateway of death, but in a sheer spectacle of divine intervention. It was a whirlwind, a celestial vortex of power and divinity that swept him off his feet. Imagine, if you will, a chariot of fire, horses ablaze with celestial flames, the wild dance of the whirlwind, and at the center of it all, Elijah lifted right off the ground and swept into the heavens. Finally, we consider a figure from the New Testament, the beloved Apostle John. As we delve into biblical lore, we find that John holds a unique place among the apostles. While the Holy Scriptures do not affirm it outright, interpretations and ancient traditions propose an intriguing theory. John, unlike his fellow apostles, did not endure the pain of martyrdom. John's distinctive narrative doesn't end here. A closer examination of the text reveals a cryptic statement delivered by Jesus himself. In the final chapters of the book of John, Amidst his profound teachings and discussions with his disciples, Jesus unveils a statement that has sparked curiosity and speculation throughout the centuries. Jesus subtly hints that if it was, his divine John would not taste death before his glorious return. This mystical remark delivered with Jesus' characteristic wisdom and authority has fueled myriad theories and interpretations. Scholars, theologians, and believers alike have poured over this scripture, weaving a tapestry of theories and speculation. Some suggest that this could mean John is eternally living, while others propose he may not have encountered death in the conventional sense we understand. This elusive narrative and the myriad of theories surrounding it adds a layer of intrigue and mystique to the figure of John, setting him apart from his fellow apostles. This has led some to speculate that John may still be alive or that he may not have experienced death in the traditional sense. So there we have it, Enoch, Elijah, and perhaps even John. These three biblical figures are said to have possibly escaped the universal human end, death. 
Their tales are intriguing, shedding light on the Bible's supernatural elements. They provoke thought about life and death and stir us to delve into the Bible's profound layers of literature. The narratives of these three men, each unique in their experience, Enoch, who was so in tune with God that he was simply taken away, Elijah, whisked to heaven in a blazing whirlwind, and John, possibly bestowed with the exclusive honor of enduring until Christ's return, are magnificent. Each narrative signifies the remarkable connection between the divine and the human, testing our understanding and calling us to investigate further into the enigmas of faith. Thank you for joining this exploration into the enigmatic and awe-inspiring tales from the Bible. We appreciate you taking the time to voyage with us into the depths of stories that have been passed down through generations. These stories, rich and filled with wisdom, comfort, admonishment, and hope, have shaped civilizations, sparked debates, and ignited passions. This journey into the heart of the Bible is more than just a cursory overview. It's a deep dive, challenging preconceptions, and stimulating thought. We set out not just to recount tales, but to dissect them, understand them better, and decipher the hidden messages they carry. Throughout this journey, we've seen the Bible's stories unfold in all their complexity and profundity, and it has been our privilege to share this experience with you. As we bring this exploration to a close, we hope you've gained a new perspective and are leaving with a renewed appreciation for these timeless tales. But remember, the journey through the Bible is a never-ending one. There are always new lessons to learn, new depths to explore, new interpretations to consider, and new ways these stories can touch our lives. We encourage you to continue on this journey, to keep delving into these awe-inspiring tales. Always keep an inquisitive mind, ask questions, seek answers, challenge your beliefs, and let them challenge you. As the Bible itself says, seek and ye shall find. Until next time, keep asking questions, keep seeking answers, and keep exploring the endless wonders of biblical stories.